15. It's been obvious she's been moving in and trying to look to attack De Groot's serve. Oh. Uh, she tried to strike the winner down the line, but missed it. 30. That's a great shot. Boy, you talk about that aggressive returning, and she is really doing that well. Oh, what a shot that was. Kamiji just not doing enough. We see a great um, shot there of the inverted backhand, see them pushing. And... Oh boy. Yeah, that's that good position inside the baseline and, and get that high one. Yeah, the disability really plays into it. De Groot, she does stand and she can use see a lot of returns down the line when you see them turn but she's able to take that ball down line and then de Groot's not again another one down Boy. the line see that inverted she gets a racket back so early she's very almost it's 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 not supernatural racket goes back and waits for the ball Jeez. her turns if you watch her turns after she hits it she's turning very very quickly routine and we see that with sometimes how they play oh what a shot yeah this first strike tennis is really yeah, paying off for kimiji giving herself some chances here's another the net cord. Oh, that's a good strike. Great shot, great point, great setup by Kamiji. Time when she can change the point around and be a little bit more aggressive. And that's what Kamiji's done so well. She would never, ever come in and take that ball flat like that. She would just wait, maybe two bounce, throw it back up again. And that's how they've improved. Well, these down the line shots are been a big factor for it last year as you're right she was a little bit more about consistency don't remember her hitting this many winners no. and there's she, another I'm just gonna say i'll hit it off the forehand side <laughs> too. i think that's the recipe today try and take the game away from de Groot. That's a tremendous hold of serve. She had to fight off three the break points. Beautiful touch there from Kamiji. Like, just play behind somebody when you're standing. So you've got to be really aware of where the openings are on the court, where the large areas are. And you see just Kamiji, she's got, and that's the challenge when you're playing De Groot, you're just constantly having to do something that's really uncomfortable, like take the ball on the rise, moving forward. There it is again, again, that high ball right up the middle. Bad ball back, but 
that high ball right there. Kamiji's, I mean, she, her arm is fully stretched. So. It sure is. I mean, it's almost like a backhand, like overhead reverse. We haven't seen too many slices from the group. It's when you'll see them there change the grip last minute, came off the chair and is able to change it to that continental to get underneath it. Yeah, another winner. You like how she wheeled to get herself in just the right position. And she had to wait as well. She had to slow down. It's great video there of us seeing that ball. She, had to, she went in, she like paused for a second, and then she went up on the previous shot. Available in the App Store and Google Play Store. Boy, that was a pretty good serve, deep, maybe right on the line. Change it up, go into a body. I know she's up 3-1, she doesn't have to, but she, Kamiji's seeing that ball so well on the back inside. There's another one. Again, she just moves in, there's that racket back super early, just. She threaded that into the two inches of each corner. That one there, really, again, great arc, great shape on the ball. And this one, same thing, just takes her time. Backwards a little bit. We saw that with DeGroote when she was at the net, waiting for the ball toss. She kept going backwards. Yeah, just too good. The turn on these shots. I mean, again, she's just, this is where she's just so consistent and hard to play against. She actually waited for the ball to drop a little. Yeah, another winner. Backwards. Like, we'll watch on the next serve. Probably won't happen. Now I've said it, but the last two times it has. Chair's moving right there, see it? Yeah. Just a little bit and then moves again when she tosses it up. That's unbelievable. I mean, what a game. Unbelievable backhand there again. You see the beautiful, she can't start every game 30 love down. It's what she did against um, Tanaka. That's a good ball. Kamiji was on the move well, and was 15. able to pull that ball back cross court. Those are actually shoes that stay in there all the time. So she takes her shoes off and puts them um, in, puts into the sleeves. Advantage, Kamiji. Ball's gonna drop in, but now she's like, I'll do the same thing. Again, there's that down the line. It's just very, very brutal. Ooh, nice change up there, the underspin. Juice. Oh. Juice. That's an incredible point. Kamiji did so well to keep the point alive.
time. This Kamiji at 2 5. Love 15. Oh, yes. Kamiji wasn't going to back up behind the baseline in that point. <laughs> Inside the baseline, didn't even recover, didn't do her full usual 360 turn, did half a turn, stayed inside, was able to take it early again. Game man, first set the fight. To really see how much effect the serve actually has on her confidence. Oh, what a shot. I mean, she was in a defensive position. Yep. See it back there. There she has to hit an overhand going backwards. And then we watch this ball here. She's way out in the corner and the way that she can just get the arc Boy, that's about as good as it gets. Again, you're seeing De Groot at her finest here. I mean, Kamiji couldn't have probably played a better better point there. She had her side to side. She had her in control of the center of the court. But again... Yes, good shot. The inside out forehand. The inclusion of the junior double, juniors as well, not doubles, but sing. You've got a Rolex clock in the back with the timer <laughs> going down. You've got electronic line calling. You've got challenges. You've got a ball crew. You've got security guards. Like they had a lot to handle. And it's just amazing for them to be part of the tournament and then being able to watch you know their compatriots play girl yesterday in the final japanese player say good information too about you know how to handle these situations what i have a feeling they've played each other 40, 55 40. times to greet knows very well Again, that was a look at that ball. That's below, below the chair. Again, changes. Ooh, she played it too close to the line. Jeez. Groot's ready position when she's returning here. She's so focused. She's like a, a cat or a lion trying to pounce here. Push it ready to push forwards at an angle here. And as soon as Kamiji tosses, she'll move forwards. Game the three. The three leads two games to love. That's well, too bad. You actually break someone, you need to hold the next game. So is that what you just said the other way? Yes. Okay. <laughs> love 30. 30. Yeah, the aggressive sh Wow. What a <laughs> shot that was. All my time, but again, she's came in to hear us wondering what she was going to do. A little difficult there, but again, you see the inverted backhand taking it shoulder height, and just again, though, right here, that's the other way. You think she's going to hit it with the front when she's pushing Kamiji, she literally takes one big push and kind of holds it for a second right there and then makes a move. Oh. 
which is a little bit 30, different 40. than De Groot. De Groot's forwards. And that right as soon as she knows whether it's coming to a forehand or backhand, boom, racket's back waiting. There's the hold. Okay, well, that was a little different because that was like an overhead. Beautiful. Game coming yeah, in. there's the winner, and she gets the break right back. So. Wow. Oh, that was a shot. It was a great shot. Last there. sight, but you see Kamiji just side to side and De Groot getting this great volley from down, keeping it nice and low. And we see her. She's trying to push there, and she's a couple of inches away. Going to take out this one. as well on her ankle is kind of sideways. Again, that's just the natural movement of her foot. So that's where they really make the chest specific towards the players. Advantage, the play. Game, the play. Yeah, there's another break. You know what's even scarier though? Only eight sets dropped. 15 off. Oh, no, when she does drop a set, her mindset is like, she probably panics. Like, oh my gosh, what do I do? I've lost a <laughs> set, I've lost a set. Yes. Sometimes the chair gets in the way. <laughs> yeah, it's right down the center and it really paid off there. Really the, the highest point of someone's career as well. We're very lucky in wheelchair tennis that beautiful return very lucky in wheelchair tennis that there's a we're the most professionalized disabled sport there is out there the double fault gives Kamiji a break point chance boy that is a tough response if we look at break point break points and break chances Kamiji's had a lot Game, Kamiji. See if Kamiji can make it happen here in the sixth game. In the last game, but this one here is where she's able just to get up to it. Wasn't quite good enough for the drop shot, and again, getting under the ball with that invert. Yeah, just too good. And the forehand winner. Again, the arc and the shape of that ball, just really deadly combination. Ball. Just seemingly coming up a little short. Picks her off with the pass. You don't see the players in chairs coming in too much. You needed to go way more down the line there because they don't, they're not able to, you can't really stop either because the, the chair needs to keep moving. So they kind of got to guess which way. It's 30 15, so it's 40 15 now. Yeah, it gets her going the wrong way there as De Groot was almost guessing, crossed her up. Which is inside the baseline. Wow. 
Seems like DeGroote is on it. And she's definitely on that one. Game set match. A tough way to end it, but Dee Dee DeGroote, another U.S. Open title. And she's putting herself into the stratosphere. Some of these all-time greats in wheelchair tennis.